scientific team were testing new equipment on their ROV Deep Discoverer in the Gulf of Mexico when it registered an unexpected wreck. Mm. Yeah. So marine archaeologists around the USA were quickly called to join the live stream from the ROV, which went from a test to lasting over three hours. Well, so this newly discovered wreck is believed to be the remains of a windlass, uh, which is around 38 meters long, and it's a timber sco schooner or brig built. Why did I give myself these weird words? <laughs> brig built. Anyway, it's built in the 19th century. So it's a timber timber boat that was built ages ago. Anyway, the hull was still shivered, 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 shivered. What did I put there? Sheathed, sheathed in copper that had been kept free from fouling. You can tell I did not write that. <laughs> Last thing on a Friday. Yeah. Uh, of course, all the structure above the waterline was missing because air sucks. Uh, however, charring of remaining timbers suggests that the ship had been set alight before sinking. Hmm. Mm. Anyway, the team now have a ton of imagery and video footage of the wreck for them to study, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's about it really. Nice short story. They found a shipwreck. They found a shipwreck. And it's pretty cool though, that just imagine a team that had been looking for this wreck for years. And yet another team come along just to test they're their They're testing new, their little robot. They're, they're <laughs> testing their little robot. And then literally they switch the power on, switch the feed on, and bam, they find it straight away. I think that other team would be very frustrated. Or just glad, because you've been looking for it and someone found it. Yeah, okay, but... <laughs> you don't get the glory, I've but... been looking for this wreck for 10 years. <laughs> and they literally switch on their ROV and it's right there. It's they cool though. you got to think about it though, how big the ocean is. Obviously, I know there's loads of wrecks there, but yeah. literally just to blah, 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 switch on, switch the feed on, donk, oh. Oh, but what's this? Happy days. Ah. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, guys, what do you think about this short story? Are oh, ROVs going to replace all yes. of us? Yes. It, it's definitely going forward into yeah. commercial diving. Yeah, ROVs. I was going to say, there's going to be no, there's going to be no deep sea dive. There's going to be none of that. Where, you know, James Cameron wants to go down and look at the Titanic. There's going to be about 20 million ROVs, which you can all watch live stream on Twitch. No, because Titanic going to be gone in like 20 years or oh, something. They'll release it, mate. Ba they'll... Bacteria, no, bacteria are like going to eat it. No, what they'll do, they'll send one big drone underneath, and they'll go underneath the Titanic and then just raise it. Sorry, raise two of them. They need two someone of them. Did, oh, someone did a simulation. What if you feel the Titanic would light a million ping pong balls? Would it lift it up? And I can't remember what happened. Uh, I, probably, I, I have a feeling that what might happen is the ping pong balls probably would go through the metal at some point. There'll be something to do with pressure <clears throat> and it would just destroy it. Yeah, because I imagine, yeah, pressurise at that depth. Otherwise, down like one and a half miles, the ping pong ball is going to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, guys, back to the story. Uh, <laughs> how lucky was the team to find this wreck? Um, do you reckon they might find even more timber wrecks in the surrounding area? Hopefully. Uh, I don't know, maybe there was some kind of battle between this little I mean, schooner. That schooner. Yeah. It was, it was set on fire. It's either that or they were trying to hide evidence. Pirates. It's either pirates or just an accident. Aliens. Yeah, stop smoking, Pete. What? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, uh, they were carrying petrol. Yeah, they had petrol back then. They did. Uh, anyway, let's have a chat in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like, hit on that subscribe button as well to keep up to date with all things scuba diving and smash on that bell icon just so that you know exactly when we drop a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm safe diving. Which is every day. You lucky chaps. Every single chap day. Every single day. Unless you can't be bothered to do a review video. Whoa. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.